Today, we are going to be talking about short-term rentals in the Poconos. Short-term rentals. Rentals, rentals, rentals. Short-term rentals in the Poconos. I am Amy Gallion, and I run the Gallion Realty Group here in the Poconos and Lehigh Valley. We get tons of questions every day about short-term rentals. Where are they allowed? Where are they not allowed? What are the rules? Does this HOA allow it? Uh, what's the municipality? So there's a lot of questions and there's a lot of changes going on here in the Poconos. And in this video, we're going to discuss some of those. Over the past few years, we have seen a huge increase in tourism here to the Pocono area. In 2014, the number was 24.6 million visitors to the Pocono Mountains. And in 2018, that number grew to 27.9 million and continues to grow today. With that, we are also seeing the lodging in the area not be able to uh, accommodate the increase in the tourism in our area. And so short-term rentals have really become a large part of the industry over the last few years. We do have a PDF that we can email out to you with information on short-term rentals in our area. It is a resource to short-term rentals in the Pocono Mountains. Pocono Mountains. Short-term rentals. Uh, there is a checklist in there. So if you're new to the, the market of short-term rentals and are thinking of purchasing your first short-term rental or Airbnb here in the Poconos, this checklist is going to be great for you. Um, it also goes over, know your zoning and your HOA rules. Uh, again, many of the associations are having updated meetings and emergency meetings to discuss short-term rentals and putting uh, some more rules in place. So this does go into some detail on that. Also know your own abilities. Uh, with Airbnb and short-term rentals, the number of cleanings that you're going to have to provide for that property, your utilities, your maintenance, and also the furnishings. What happens if someone um, on the weekend destroys some of your property? How are you going to recoup that? That all costs money. Making sure that you have a good cushion in your budget for when those things arise, that you don't start losing money on your Airbnb. Assemble a village. Who's going to be your turnover people? We also have different companies that we work with that can help you with your Airbnb from property management to cleaning to also maintenance. So give us a call and we can definitely put you in contact with those members. A committee has been established here in the Pocono Mountains to keep the rental market, the short term rental market in check and make sure that these homes are an asset and not a liability to the communities that they are in. Since the HOAs and the municipalities are always updating and changing how short-term rentals are going to be uh, handled moving forward, we do have a 52-page guide that we can send to you as well uh, to give you all the contact information and email addresses for those committees and for those municipalities. So before you buy a short-term rental, you can call those HOA communities, you can call those municipalities, and make sure that that specific property that you're calling on that house can be used as a short-term rental. Many can be used as long-term rentals, 30 days or more, but many, many cannot be used as short-term rentals moving forward. So please, before you purchase a short-term rental in the area and you go to closing, make sure that the home can be used for the short-term rental market. Uh, we have had a few instances where people were in the process of buying a home for short-term rentals and we come to find out that the rules changed from either the county or the municipality or the homeowner association. And of course, those buyers moved on to other properties. So again, if you're thinking of buying or selling a property here in the Poconos, give us a call and we can help guide you through that process and make sure that you don't make a fatal mistake when buying a short-term rental property. We also do have the resource guide and also the municipality guide for you to help you in your quest for the perfect business model and the perfect business Airbnb that you may want to buy. This is Amy Galligan with Keller Williams Real Estate and Galligan Realty Group. Have a great day.